First, uh, we shall make a sequence, a uh, 24 frame one at 1920 by 1080. So click here, add a sequence. And now I want you to navigate to the settings area. Uh, under here, I'm going to show you where you can choose all the different sizes for camera types for Premiere. So we have the Canon DSLRs that we use and the Sonys. So we're going to use the Canon XF MPEG size. That's going to put us at 1920 by 1080. And um, after we set that up, we're going to name it. So 1920 by 1080, you can see there. And let's name this horror underscore timeline. Good job. All right, so now let's make a folder so we can import those videos and get to work. And uh, we're going to name that folder video, creatively speaking. That was awesome. So now we're going to simply drag these videos from our finder to our folder inside of Premiere in our bin. And you're going to get some feedback on that. There you go. It says, hey, we imported this. Now let's drag one of those to our timeline. We're going to drag a clip on over. So click on that and drag it. Here we go. There it is. Hey. Do you want to keep those existing settings? Yes, keep them. All right, now our video is kind of cropped, so what we're going to do is control click on the timeline, and we're going to choose set the frame size. Yes, you did it. Now your video is set to frame size. So what we can do is, I'm going to show you how to push in on this video. It's very interesting, so watch this one closely. I will demonstrate it. So after we set frame to size our videos at 70.3 percent and I'm gonna go ahead and add a keyframe by clicking that stop watch next to scale and you'll show that the click keyframe has appeared now I'm gonna move forward on my timeline and stop around here once I stop around here I'm gonna adjust that size on up to hundred it point three percent there we go now this is the end result watch as over time we are pushing in on the video and you notice those black bars disappears top and bottom and we're pushing in closer this would be really good it's kind of looks like a cinematic telephoto type effect and that's what makes 4k 2k awesome when you're working in the 1920 by 1080 format thanks for watching